Hello and welcome to my Astronomy Nights. In this video I will be looking at the deep sky target M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. The Dumbbell Nebula is located in a small dim constellation, Volpecula. The best way to find Volpecula is to look for the summer triangle made up of Vega, Altair and Deneb. When you find Deneb, you'll see that cross, distinct cross shape of Cygnus. So what we're looking for is the head of Cygnus, which is the opposite point to Deneb. We're going to use that as the jumping off point to find M27. So when you're looking for it, you'll find Albiro. It's a double star. It's got a orange and blue star in a visual double. It's not a double system, but it's a visual double. You use that and just below it, you want to see Volpecula. Now there's a lot of dim stars around magnitude four or five down here. So it's kind of hard. So when you take away the lines here, you can see there's no real distinction amongst them. You're just going to have to find those two there. So the one just kind of off it here, this is Alpha Volpecula, and we're looking for 15 Volpecula, which is the opposite end of this small little constellation. And then we're going to look below that for Sagitta, which is just parallel to Volpecula, and it's made up of like four or five small stars. And we're looking for the one off one of the center stars, which is Gamma Sagitta. And if we find Gamma Sagitta and 15 Volpecula, it's halfway between these. These are about eight degrees, so just under about a fifth width apart. And we're looking for the halfway point between both of these. And that will give you 14 Volpecula. And now this, getting this in the eyepiece will get you the Dumbbell Nebula into your eyepiece. So as we move in here, and you can just see to the south, the Dumbbell Nebula would be there. So let's just turn on an eyepiece and see. So this is uh, not a wide field 32 mil, but this this is kind of your, your basic plossal 32 mil plossal. This is what you will see. So you won't have this coloring on it, but you will get the apple core shape. It'll be like a desaturated version of this. So there's 14 volpeculi, and there it is. So in this video, I was using the Skywatcher 200 PDS with the GH5 camera. And this gives me, I'll show you the sensor size. So this is the sensor size with this telescope combination. And when I center it, you can just see that 14 volpeculi is just on the edge of the sensor. And that's the way we'll get it. So now I'll just show you the footage that I got. I was using four seconds per frame for this video as it, I wanted to bring out the color just to show you that little bit of shape. And then the final image was a stack of uh, 180 seconds by about an hour's worth. <laughs> 